Namaste my dear children hope you are doing well so today we are going to talk about our chapter more on microsoft word 2016 so we will learn page formatting setting paragraph spacing changing line spacing inserting column and column break so we will start with the page formatting so i will open a word document for you all so header and we will start with the creating header and footer so we will what is a header and footer header and footer is used to place some information on top and at the bottom of every page respectively you can include the title chapters heading date page date page number author's name etc in this section so first of all where we will found the header and footer we will go to the insert tab inside the insert tab you will click on the header and header in header footer group then you will get the drop down menu we will click the added header now we will press the tab key we will write here parivartan school now i will press the tab key i want to insert the date and time so i will go to the insert group there is a date and time column so you can see there are so many formats available whatever the format we want we can select it so i am selecting this format now you can see this now i want to work in footer for the working for footer we will go to the footer and then edit footer now page number we want to insert we will go to the bottom of page now you can see this if i want to do changing in page formatting so format page number and now here if i want it in abc so i will select it now you can see this this is a header and footer you will notice this header and footer boxes at the top and bottom of each page respectively separated by the this dotted line now i want to close this header header and footer and come back to the my document area so i will click this close header and footer now i can do editing whatever i want so come back to the setting paragraph spacing for this i will paste one paragraph so what is a paragraph spacing paragraph spacing is amount of space above and below the paragraph so how we can put the paragraph spacing we need to follow these steps select the paragraph before or after which you want to change the spacing click on the paragraph this is a paragraph group there is a box dialog box launcher this one we will click, we will click on it then this box will get appear we will we will click on the indents and spacing this is a indent and spacing tab on the indent and spacing space tab we will enter the required space in before and after spin box under the spacing section this is a spacing section so okay now you can see the space you can observe the space has increase so i have a tips for you to set more precise spacing measurement we can go to this line and paragraph spacing option and we can increase the spacing as we want between the line 
select line spacing option from drop down menu the paragraph dialog box will appear select any specified value for line spacing and paragraph spacing you can observe now changing line spacing what is a changing line spacing line spacing is a vertical distance between successive line these are the successive line of the text in document we can also increase or decrease the line spacing between a paragraph click on the paragraph this dialog box dialog box launcher now we will select the indent and spacing tab there is a option of line spacing you can see this under the line spacing option we will click we can increase or decrease the line spacing from here see now space has also increased now come back to the format uh, come back to the inserting column and column break so what is the use of column and column break as you can observe when you type in word document by default the text is displayed in a single column style so i am just going to decrease the line spacing first so by def by default the text is displayed in a single column as you can see this is a single column or in a paragraph style if you wish to format the document in newspaper style you must observe in a newspaper this whole paper is divided into column wise column style so word 2016 enable you to create document in two or more columns so how we will do this we will go to the insert option sorry layout option layout tab this is a layout tab we will press the column now you can observe here in the column we have one column two column three column so i am clicking on the three column now you can see this all text has come in a column so when i want to go to the next column what i will do i will click on the break column now you can see i come into the next break now you can see this is the second column if i am typing something and i want to go to the next this column so i will click break option break column now you can observe now my text is in all three columns thank you i hope you understand all this well